You know, 25 years is a long time. That was 1999. 25 years ago today, it is one thing to be a young and enthusiastic neophyte on a spiritual journey. It is quite another thing to remain faithful inside that journey for 25, for 50, or 60 years, or even more. come from near and we have come from far to glorify God for the gift of 25 years of consecrated life which our dear sister Rose celebrates with great joy today. Our extern sisters are very special because they live their lives forgetting themselves. They live their lives serving quietly and silently and many times without even praise and without attention. And today, the tables are turned. sisters are the face of the community and when I see the face of sister Rose always serving the Lord with gladness I've never seen her with a sour face So the question is, how does one sustain our initial enthusiasm? How does one sustain that sincerity, that effective energy, that good intentions? You want to know a secret? One such secret concerns our Carmelite cell. becomes a code word that encapsulates a vocation. It encapsulates the duties of a friar, the duties of a nun. The cell is a structure that supports fidelity, that supports diligence. one cell is synonymous to remaining in your vocation, to remain within the embrace of the vows, to remain within your first love. Due 
duties and responsibilities within our relationships, within your marriage, within your families, within your communities. The cell is your protection. When you see a person who has been happy and who remains happy, not because things are perfect, but because things become more meaningful, things become more beautiful, it is because they have learned how to see and set and remain within that vocation. Then they grow in sanctity. Then they grow in humanity. Then they grow to maturity. Dear Sister Rose Louise, you have received grace upon grace after your baptism, and more so after your religious consecration in Carmel, on the occasion of your 25th anniversary of religious profession. What do you ask of God and His Church? I ask for God's merciful love, the blessing of the Jubilee, and the grace to die to all that is selfish in me, that I may be transformed into the likeness of Jesus Christ, my bridegroom. One with Him, I offer anew my life of prayer and sacrifice in Carmel until death for the healing and transformation of the world. of grace you have overwhelmed me with your love and faithfulness you have covered my weakness with your strength and mercy and you have given me your joy with all my heart I humbly and gratefully renew my life commitment which I made to you 25 years ago as I offer my life for the church for all bishops, priests, and missionaries, for our families, and all your people. I, Sister Rose Louise of St. Joseph, desiring to live faithfully, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, a life of allegiance to Jesus Christ, with my sisters as witnesses, into your hands, Reverend Mother Prioress, Sister May Catherine of Christ, vow anew to Almighty God, perpetual chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the rule and constitutions of the discussed Carmelite nuns, of the Order of Mount Carmel. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your Lord. Pay homage to him. His Holiness, Pope Francis cordially parts the requested apostolic blessing to Sister Rose Louise of St. Joseph OCD on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of her religious profession. Sister Rose, Thank you for teaching us and inspiring us without your knowing it. This helps us to serve the Lord with gladness. Three things that we bring home. 
three things which I think Sister Rose has done well. First, staying the course. your choices properly. Where do you think commitment lies? What makes you remain? What keeps you there? Where is commitment? It is in the will. I choose to remain. That is what keeps us going. Not the head, not the heart, not the head and the heart, but the will. I choose it. And the last, to willingly accept what's outside your control. Because she stayed inside herself.